Christmas of 1982, and under our tree, Santa had left me a 16K Sinclair ZX Spectrum, a Sanyo cassette recorder, and the Horizons cassette, which promised hours of fun. And so it was, with life, a breakout clone, bubble sort routines, and substantial machine code programs. But what really got me interested was a character generator. I spent hours at school when I should have been learning, drawing 8x8 boxes and designing Spectrum user-defying graphics. And so began a lifelong love of the ZX Spectrum. Today I have several, including the Spectrum Next, the latest iteration of this beloved machine. I then became aware of a cloned Spectrum motherboard which you could buy and build yourself. I further discovered that you could buy new cases, keyboards, membranes, faceplates, in fact, it dawned on me that I could build a 100% brand new ZX Spectrum. So I did. I have to admit I was fearing the worst, but as all the components arrived, it all looked very professionally put together, and I knew I was in for a treat. Here follows a time lapse of the whole build, and I've put timestamps in the description if you just want to whiz to the key points. All the links to the supplies I used are in the description, but particular thanks go to Ben at Bike Delight, who puts together these wonderful kits. The kit itself is really nicely laid out, all of the bags are numbered, and you just move through them one bag to the next. The instructions that are supplied with the kit are second to none. Ben's done a really good job of documenting the whole process and pointing out where you might go wrong, such as the polarity of the capacitors. The only thing I really struggled with were the locations of some of the components. Uh, I'd spend literally minutes looking for a particular capacitor or resistor. They're all very tiny and uh, there's lots of them. If you do decide to undertake a project like this, I would recommend getting a temperature controlled solar station. It just makes the job easier and you know that every joint is going to be given the same amount of heat and the same amount of time and you just get a consistent feel and a uh, look across the whole board. The way the kit is put together as well, you're always starting with the components that are smallest and nearest to the board and kind of working your way up in height so that you're never feeling compromised by trying to get in between a couple of the ICs to get a resistor in place. Very well thought out and uh, certainly saved me a lot of time. And a particular shout out to the designer of the board here. Um, one of the ICs has to be soldered directly to the board, but that's because for space reasons, it's actually underneath one of the sockets that another IC goes in. Very clever and obviously needed to, in, in order to get this board to fit inside a 48K Spectrum case. Uh, very clever. And nearing the end of the build now, just about to put the final few sockets in and then I'll take a couple of pictures and then we'll start putting the ICs in. And there's the finished board. All the soldering is complete and all the sockets are ready to have their ICs populated. And if you look really closely, you can see that IC that's soldered directly to the board and that's sitting underneath the sound chip. This board comes with an optional S video out, which I definitely wanted to use. Uh, but to do so, I'd have to make some amendments to the case. So with trepidation, out came the hacksaw and I started to cut. All that remained at this point was putting the keyboard in and screwing the whole thing together. And then it was time to test.
taking a deep breath, I plugged it in and success. Never been so happy to see that logo. Time to test it with a couple of games just to make sure everything looks good. And indeed it does. I went through a few programs on my Div MMC and everything seems to work a treat. All in all, very happy. This machine is definitely going to take pride of place next to my Spectrum Next and will probably get more playtime because I built it myself. If you like my channel, please like the video and subscribe. You can also hit the bell for notifications of new videos. Let me know in the comments if you decide to build one of these kits or if you've already built one. So until next time in the shack, it's goodbye.